Good morning, everybody, and welcome to Chrono Plays Arcade Block. Specifically, this is for February 2016. And before I open the box, I will apologize for any lapsing concentration that I am sure to about to have because I have a cold, my brain is kind of fucking with me, and I'm now on, uh, you know, cold medication. So this ought to be entertaining, but I wanted to get this out as soon as I got it, which, oddly enough, it's a Saturday now that when I get it, when I got it, and apparently, I checked the shipping status yesterday on it, and UPS said one business day remaining to get it. I'm like, okay. So it's Saturday, and I get it. So apparently, UPS counts Saturdays as business days, which is a new thing with me, or for me. I don't know. Yep, you know, I get it uh, two days sooner than I was expecting. I was expecting it Monday, got it Saturday. So, hey, I'm happy. Let's get to it. Let's get to the damn point already. Oop, open it up, and we see stuff. All right, so let's start with the shirt, like is standard. This is That was balled up pretty tight, actually. I mean... Wow, they got a lot of stuff in this crate today, or the, the the block today, whatever. And it is a yellow thing that I'm not, I'm, um, am, am I just really, really tired and just not seeing this? I don't know what the hell this is. Oh, wait, 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 I'm starting to see it. Okay, okay, I see it, I see it, I see it now. Okay, okay. Bulbasaur, Venusaur, Ivysaur. I see, okay, I like this. I would have preferred Char Charmander, Char Charmeleon, and Charizard, but uh, that's just personal preference. No, this thing's actually pretty badass. Um, okay, now that I see it, I like it. I like it a lot. This is cool. Um, definitely going to be wearing this. This is definitely going into my rotation. I like it. I like it a lot. Very nice Pokemon shirt. I guess that's to go with the, what, 20th anniversary that happened a couple of days ago? I guess. I don't know. Um, that's what our gaming was saying. You know, 20th anniversary happened a little while ago, so, you know, whatever. Let's go with that. And here we have a chest and very loud plasticky noises. It is a tin chest. Is anything inside of it? And it's actually a chest, which is cool. There is nothing in this chest. No, there's something in the chest. I just can't open it. There we go. Oh, it's a ruby. <laughs> it's an actual ruby. Oh, that's sweet. I can't get it out of the cardboard. Ugh. Is it glued in there or something? I don't Yeah, it's glued in there. Okay. Well, that's badass. Um I don't want to rip it out cuz I want to leave it in there cuz that's actually pretty cool. Yes, okay, so it's a ruby in a chest. And then I guess we can put other stuff in said chest, which would be kind of cool, too. I was hoping that was a Legend of Zelda-esque chest, and it is. I like that. Okay. I know, that's a little... Actually, it is kind of cheap now that I think about it. It's just a chin, tin chest with a plastic ruby in it, but still, I like it. You know, I, I like cheap, chintzy stuff every now and then. Okay. So, right here, we have a mushroom and a warp pipe salt and pepper shaker. Kidoki. Be careful with these. There's definitely a warp pipe. Come on. I'm trying to get you out without breaking you. And it's definitely a mushroom covered in styrofoam. Mm. But yes, it's a salt and pepper shaker. It does not indicate which one is salt and which one is pepper, though. And I know that's not a big thing for, you know, people like me who would actually be using this kind of thing because I would just remember that, you know, one of them has salt and one of them has pepper. But what if you have, like, guests over? They don't know which one you put it in, and they might have the same thing and put it in differently. I know, I'm being picky. I bet you it's actually something to do with the three holes here and the two holes here. I bet you that's the key, but I don't know. I don't understand. Let's get that trash out of the way. And we've got a cup, a drinking cup, that is Sonic. And it's like really thick plastic. It's it's one of those ones that are like dual layer. 
So, like, there's dead air in the middle, so if you put something cold in here, it'll stay cold for longer. And if you put something warm in there, it'll stay warmer for longer. So, kind of like a thermos, but obviously not thermos. Okay. Nice. Um, oh, the straw is actually stuck in there, so you can't accidentally lose it. That's cool. Interesting. Alrighty. Uh, Double-walled cup with straw. Yes, okay. Hmm. Interesting. Then we have a... Map of Hyrule Tea Towel. Okay. Not much for tea, but I'm sure I'll find a use for this. Probably hanging up on the wall, honestly. Let's take a look at this thing. See what it looks like. Whoop. Oh, there's two of them. That looks nice. It's got that whole... Uh, Lord of the Rings map vibe to it. That's pretty badass. Uh, can I recognize this map? No. Um, I don't recognize the map. Not off the top of my head anyways. It just says Map of Hyrule. Uh, I'm trying to read these, but my brain, in my drug-addled state, I can't read any of the cursive on here. Uh, Laura's Domain... I swear that's what it says. Laura's Domain. Oh, screw it. I give up. I have no idea which Legend of Zelda that's from. I really don't. Um, Alright, what's the other one? Does the other one look the same? These feel like burlap or something. Like, they wouldn't be good for towels. Yeah, it's the same thing. Um, but I would assume a tea towel is a specific kind of thing for a specific purpose. I don't know, though. But, uh, yeah, I could definitely find a use for this. Put it in the museum with the Legend of Zelda collection that I already have going. Yeah, I could use that. I could definitely use that. Ooh, there's even more stuff in here. Sheesh. Every time I get to, to where I think I have everything, I find more stuff underneath this stuff. We have the Bit Trip Collection. So it looks like chiptunes music. The six game collection of the award-winning bit trip series oh i've heard of this i played this one um i remember this guy that's all i remember and basically it's music if you're reading this it means you're now proud owner of the bit.trip collection the bit.trip collection includes all six entries in the award-winning bit trip series including bit trip b oh, bit trip beat bit trip core bit trip void bit trip runner bit trip fate bit trip flux if played in order, these games tell the story of Commander Video, and there's a very strange space between video and the comma, a fascinating individual who insists that he is only a man, is such a humili- wait, oh, is such humility justified, or is there more to him than he's letting on? There's only one way to find out. Get ready to go to bit.trip of a lifetime. So, wait, is this a game? I think this might actually be the games. Yeah, the sixth game collection. Okay, I thought it was the soundtrack. So they're giving me the Bit Trip games. All six of the Bit Trip games. Okay, I remember this one. I played it somewhere that I don't remember where, and it was mildly interesting. Um, I don't recognize the other ones off the top of my head. But, uh, yeah, okay, there we go. Um, so six games. Wow, okay. Uh, all right, so let's see if I can read these in order. March's block has some great Capcom exclusives from Mega Man, Resident Evil, and Resident Evil 20th Anniversary. We're also including exclusive for fans of Pokemon and Just Cause 3. I just got a Pokemon shirt, and oh, I'm not wearing it today, but I have a Just Cause 3 shirt. I actually wore it the other day. I wear it to work. I shit you not. I wear my Just Cause 3 shirt to work. And, okay, so we got the... Let's see if anything's actually missing this time around. It doesn't look like it. So we have the Evolutionist t-shirt. I can't believe I just said that. And it does... There is a Fire One. Okay, there, there's all of them. There's the... Wait, why is that blue? What, what? Oh, water. Leaf. Okay. Uh Focus here. Okay, quit it with the drugs. Ugh, smack, 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 that kind of thing. Okay, yes, yeah, so uh, we have uh, Bulbasaur, we have uh, Charmander, and we have Squirtle. So we do have all three. I, I kind of would have preferred the Charmander one, but hey, 
Bulbasaur is badass too. Uh, the Mushroom and Pipe Shakers. Is there any actual distinction? Probably, like I said, with the two holes and the three holes, but I don't know them. Uh, the Bit Trip Collection video game, which strikes me as a little odd that it's all six games, but I guess that's not that weird considering that whole retro game that they gave us a couple of blocks back that's actually still sitting at work. Uh, because I tried to get it to run on one of our older PCs, but it turns out that all our older PCs are too old. We don't have anything new enough to run that game. Uh, Alright, so, Map of Hyrule Tea Towel Set. Which, again, I'm going to find a use for that. Uh, and then the Hyrulean Treasure Chest. Uh, which is actually kind of cool. That's actually badass. Uh, and then the signature thing was the Sonic Cup. Yeah, okay, I'll go with it. They never make the shirt to signature thing, but uh, it does strike me as odd that they made the cup the signature thing. Yeah, whatever. All right, anything else in here? Uh, hunk of cardboard. But no, nothing else in there. All right, so the traditional, the things that go back in the box that I'm never going to use. That's an obvious one. Same with the advertisement for next month. Uh, Bit Trip Collection. No, I'm going to keep this because I seem to remember liking this game um so i'm gonna keep that out i'm gonna actually use that um what do i think about the cup what do i think about the cup i'll use the cup i will use the cup boop the chest that it cannot be opened it's like the pulling the sword from the stone if you can open it you're the next king of england there we go um or i guess king of hyrule in this case so, yes, I like this. I like this a lot. This is going to get added to the Legend of Zelda collection that I currently have made in China. Made in Japan would have been more appropriate, but eh, whatever. So, yes, that's staying out. Same with the tea towels. Though, if somebody could be nice enough to explain to me why a tea towel looks like it would be absolute shit for being a towel, I would be thrilled. Um... Yeah, it's got to have, like, a use that I'm not used to a towel having. I'm used to towels being for, like, drying things. This doesn't feel like it would dry much of anything. Um, hmm, whatever. All right, uh, salt and pepper shakers. Hmm, nah, let's be honest. I'm never going to use them. Though, I should probably put them back in the box before I start throwing this box around and putting it on the pile of all the other boxes. And then the shirt, and the shirt is most definitely staying. That is a badass shirt. I'm going to be wearing this sometime here very, very soon. I like this shirt. All right, so that is February 2016's Arcade Block from Nerd Block. I will see you guys in the next episode, and as always, keep playing the game and have fun.